There we go. Oh, water! water procedures. Oh, Pre-recording ritual. Stretching? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I never include it into the video, but I usually, I'll sit here and stretch. It's like that one. Crack a little bit. It's like that one scene from uh, Zombieland. You gotta, uh, what's it called? Like, limber up or something like that? Yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. Is what's it called? Uh, shoot, I, I haven't seen that movie in so long, I don't remember. You should probably limber up. You ever see a... Uh, Lion limber up before he takes on a good takes on a gazelle. Hmm. <laughs> it's like no, I don't think so. No, oh, no, I don't think so. Oh, you gotta look that blister right there. You gotta drain that fucker. <laughs> you know that, dude. You know, I was helping tear off a roof, dude. This shit was wild. All right, no bullshit. Let's do this. You ready? Yeah. Hell yeah. What's going on, everybody? This is Jacob here, bringing back another episode. Will it G Fuel? And I got my man's big boy Jerge is finally home from collage, and we be doing big video procedures in the future. So look out for those. And in today's episode, we be mixing sour cherry and lemonade, and this is going to be um, tartastic. Very... Actually, I'm kind of excited for this. I want to try I it too. Actually, I mean, I think it's gonna be okay. Lemonade is definitely more tart than sour cherry, but I mean, I kind of hoping. That these uh, flavors like kind of mix together well, you know, not, not that whole you taste one or the other, or you don't or taste one of them at all, you just taste one. So, I'm hoping the outcome will be that they flow together nice and easy. Plus, lemonade really just combines with anything almost, to be honest. It does, yeah. Which is the great thing about lemonade, you can mix it with literally anything, which is the beauty of it. You just do normal scoops nowadays, don't you? Uh, basically. Yeah. There's that. Get this off. Get this off. Does that look good, Dean? Maybe sure. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do a little more. Just, just a, just a titty bit. No, nope, that was too much. Why you think this one's gonna be overpowering? Uh, you know, kind of actually. Believe it or not, I mean, lemonade is very tart, but and also, I think sour cherry. Will be even tartar in a sense. I mean, lemonade's always been known as that uh, drink that is the tartiest of the tarts. But off topic, what are you uh, anticipating for this new uh, flavor, the golden apple pear? Oh, this is open. Better. It's gonna be so good, to be honest, because I love anything apple, and uh, I never really had anything that's been like pear flavored, but I do like pears, so I believe it's. I, I feel like it's gonna be. Uh, Oh, I really don't know how to explain it. I think it's going to be really good. I think it's going to be very sweet, to be honest. Like, I feel like it's going to have, like, a green apple type taste. I hope it doesn't. I think it's going to. I hope it has a sweet apple taste to it, not a sour apple, because we already have sour apple. That is true. I, I think it's going to come out very sweet, so... Like, I'm definitely excited for it. What's funny is I've actually asked people about uh, Golden Apple Pear, and they don't sound too thrilled about it, to be honest. Like in G Fuel form? Like, they, think it's, they think that the flavor sounds gross. I don't think it sounds gross at all. I think it sounds, like, sweet. I think it's going to be a very sweet drink. It's going to be one of those, you're outside sunbathing or you're walking the trail, right? And you want to sip on something nice and sweet. Definitely. You're going to get yourself some Golden Apple Pear. I'm... You know, I was getting sick of all the spoilers there for a minute. Everyone was just leaking, and I'm like, wow, okay, wow. Yeah, people were leaking it, weren't they? Yeah, but G Fuel, G Fuel didn't care. Check that out, y'all. I, I, I can kind of see a difference in color, kind of, really. I can't. It's almost kind of like brightened it up just a tidbit. Oh, yeah. That yeah. looks like a hot pink almost. Yeah, because you add yellow to it. That's so. Roy. That's Roy. You sniffing, boys, right? Tart? Not really. I mean, sort of, kind of. Here, what do you think? Mr. Man. It smells, I'll be honest with you, I think it smells uh, like that cherry limeade flavor. Kind of does. Or like almost like, or almost like a uh, strawberry lemonade, sort of. Sort of, kind of. G Fuel, get on that strawberry, strawberry lemonade. lemonade. dog. Ooh. I'm telling you. I actually just had a strawberry lemonade at uh, 
Kahua. Like a like a slushy or? No, it was a drink, strawberry Ooh. lemonade. I used to. You remember? I don't know if they still sell, but do you remember when McDonald's used to do the uh, strawberry lemonade? Uh, um, 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 what they it? it was basically like a slushy almost. I can't. I can't remember what it's called. I used to get those all the time when I worked there. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, those yep. were so good. Was it like a smoothie, kind of? It wasn't a smoothie. It was kind of like an icy, almost. Mm-hmm. Kind of like what you get out of those like, machines at the gas station. Like a slushy. Oh! Yeah, yeah. What, like an icy, kind of? Yeah, sort of. All right. Well. You ready? Think it. Think it. Lemonade is there. Mm-hmm. Lemonade is there. You can taste it. But the sour cherry does kind of take over, to be honest. In my opinion. I don't know what you think. Um, I was wrong about tartness, for sure. This is sweet. Yeah, that is, yeah, that is true. The, the, the tartness canceled out somehow. It's weird. It's like it's there, but it's not. Yeah, it's not, it's not like a you know a punch to your taste buds almost. But, I mean... I was not expecting this to turn out like this at all. No, it's very sweet. I mean, if, it, if I look at it, I mean, sour cherry doesn't really have a whole lot of tartness, but you, you can definitely taste it. Lemonade is more on the tart side of all the flavors, but it cancels out the tartness. There really is none. This is sweet. one of those drinks, like, it's it's one of those drinks where you want this flavor, and you want this flavor, but you can't decide which one to drink, so you just put them together and you get the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you can definitely taste the lemonade. I can taste it. It's there. I do taste a little more of this, though, but not, like, I don't just taste this or taste this than this. Is this, like, something magical that we came across? No. I no, definitely so. not. But IMO, it does defuel. Oh, yeah. I 100% believe this defuels. This is something you want to drink when you're outside. Right? Yeah, I mean, this is a casual drink. I, I kind of like it, honestly. Say you're out and about or, you know, you're out, you're out mowing the lawn, right? And you get thirsty and you're just like, bang. I give it a seven out of ten. Uh, out of ten, I would give it be yeah. Well, maybe like a seven and a half. Okay, that's. I mean, that's pretty fair. Between seven and a half and an eight, it ain't a dime piece, but it's not a one. We should start doing that from now on. Start ranking them. Oh, that's a good idea. Like that? Uh, not. I guess not ranking them, but you know, giving them uh, like ratings out of ten. We should make up our own rating scale. I mean, we'd have to go back and watch all these episodes. That's completely fine. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's a time killer. I can. I mean, that's that's cool. But yeah, I think this G-Fuels for sure. This definitely does g feel. Like, I will finish this, right? And I might do it again in the future. I don't know if I would do it again, but... I wouldn't do it all the time. Not like the OJ and pineapple combo. Yeah, like, I yeah. could do that every day and not, you know, not get sick of it. Like, like I said, this is just one of those things. If you want both but can't can't make up your mind, you know, just, just do it. It's fine. It's not going to taste horrible. No, not at all. It's sweet. I mean... It, it's there's really yeah really have nothing bad to say about it I mean if you're worried about tartness you ain't got nothing to worry about because it's not there like a hundred percent not there you don't see me squint my eyes if you did just see me just fucking crush that G oh I know oh, I'm with you hold on hold on I think I'm about my rating up to a 7.5 that was pretty good I like it I really do it tastes I mean it kind of I don't know if they had these, but you remember those like, those like freezer pops? Didn't they have like a strawberry kind or like that one that was like pink in color? Are you talking about the long ones? The yeah, long yeah, ones? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It's like a, it's like a, fr- a freezer pop basically. I mean, sure. Freezer pop in a cup, shaker, whatever Just, you want to call it. Yeah, throw it in some uh, like one of those cubes, like the the little cube trays. Oh yeah. Throw it in there, stick it in the freezer. Yeah, yeah, basically. We should, I should do that sometime. Mix up a G Fuel flavor and put it in a nice tray. Future episode. Future episode. Well, er, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And go check out my dude. His channel is Jersh Plays. I'll probably put it in the description again. I just hit 100 subs. He just hit 100 subs. Actually, over 100 subs. Aren't you like 102? 101. 101. 101. So go check out his 100 subscriber special video. It's Litty AF. And... You de- guys will definitely like it. And until the next episode, I will see you guys. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting <laughs> <either. laughs> Holy delayed reaction. <laughs>
<laughs> Is he gonna say later? When's he gonna say later?